Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood, Dr. Jimmy128 and I'm bringing to you a StarCraft 2 replay This is going to be a 1 vs 1 between the Red Zerg He is Iris Crimson And his opponent is going to be the Blue Terran, this is Triple X Mickey so the map is going to be on, I believe this is in Toon Valley, uh, Mickey is saying good luck, uh, GG and have fun, and the Zerg just says GG, because he doesn't want Mickey to have fun, because he's planning to beat him up, and uh, beat him in this game, <laughs> let's, uh, I hope this is going to be a high level replay, I got this from an anonymous source, he said it's pretty good, so yeah, let's go ahead and check out the game, this is, uh, Going to be a cross spawn. The players are going to be spawning in the cross spawn locations. So let us see what is going to happen. Of course, uh, just recently we concluded the Pinoy Gaming Festival last uh, October. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> let me take a drink of water. And unfortunately, I was not able to be there because I was on vacation. Now I am back, of course, and it's going to be my first uh, StarCraft 2 replay since coming back. I've of course uploaded some unboxing videos <coughs> on my YouTube channel. Now it's time for some StarCraft 2 action. Alright, so we see the Zerg player going for a 15 hatch. He decides to get his hats first instead of his spawning pool. He's mainly doing this because of the mere dis the, the sheer distance. <laughs> between him and his opponent and of course he's seeing there is no no uh, cheesy play coming from Mickey no proxy racks everything looks standard looks like Mickey now going to grab his expansion as he's saving up the minerals and you really, really the game has evolved into the macro games I rarely see uh, I rarely see one base play from uh, high level players nowadays I've been playing some HOTS uh, and I'm extremely rusty, I'm, and I even forgot that we could get the Mothership Core. So there you go. Um, but this is of course going to be a Wings of Liberty match. Played on the ladder, so Mickey now. Uh, grabbing his expansion, looks like the Zerg is also looking to get his own... Uh, Sorry, not his own, but looking, he might be going for a third expansion, but instead he grabs two queens right away. Normally, Zergs would, uh, upon seeing his opponent's expansion, they would immediately grab a quick third. However, the Zerg has not spotted it just yet. Look, we have a nice, uh, bunker now going down from Mickey. A pretty excellent placement. Now, a lot of high level players have been putting their bunkers in this specific location to protect this part of their uh, expansion and the ramp at the same time looks like we're now going to see a reactor and we have a factory going down so it looks like uh, we're going to see some hellions which has you know, this really has this really has become a very very <laughs> standard build for Terran you see all the Terrans on ladder even in tournaments I guess doing this and uh oh I think the Zergling is going to fall. He did get a chance to whack at the Marine for 5 damage. But interestingly enough, the Zerg has not yet gotten his 3rd base. Uh, you would normally see Zerg grab their 3rd. He's floating quite a lot of minerals. Okay, so he's going for really really quick lair. Uh, at the 5 minute mark, he's also getting Zergling speed. He is still on 1 gas. So my predictions, he might be going for uh, Zergling and Roach. But now since he is grabbing his extractor, let's see if he also decides to grab these two. If he grabs these two, more than likely he'll be going for Mutalis. But uh, with this much gas, he might be going for fast roaches or maybe straight he'll go straight to Infester. But looks like we're now going to see an attack from our Zerg player. The Terran though, is he aware of this? I don't think so. He does have a couple of Hellions out, but he's going to spot these Zerglings and... Uh, Mickey has to keep these Hellions alive as he hopes to successfully defend the Zerg attack. And here we go, Zerglings are going into the mineral SCVs running for cover. But the Marines in the bunker, well placed. 
Uh, only losing three SCPs in that exchange, so Mickey defending that very nicely. And here we go, there goes the Spire. And the Baneling side, so we're going to see Ling Baneling. So my rush prediction was very, way off. <laughs> and he's already grabbed his other gas, so of course, there you go, Mutilist play. It looks like uh, Mickey is going to follow this up with Banshees. And we have, wow, seven, eight drones on the way for our Zerg player. And uh, as Crimson decided to grab a, an evolution chamber, not yet, but he does have an overseer because, you know, th it is more than, it, you know, it's, it's because uh, this build for Darren has become so standard that Zerg's just, you know, metagaming Darren here, but uh oh. Hellions though looking to try and uh, apply some pressure on the Zerg front. We do have two queens. A lot of Zergians have been roasted, but this Hellion though escaping with his life. Looks like we're seeing some bailings uh, being cancelled. Uh huh. No third yet from the Zerg. We're approaching the 10 minute mark. And the Spire now about to complete. So we'll have enough for about 6 Mutalisks. And there you go. Stim now being researched, and we're seeing some Marauders uh, coming from Mickey. And looks like uh, a changeling just died. Somewhere now, we were seeing Mickey grabbing his third base. Crimson is also aware of this as he sees the building. And looks like we have Hellions now uh, able to get in, roasting the Queen right there. And looks like they may be able to uh, kill a lot of drones, but the Mutalists are here. Mickey, though, not controlling this as best as he can. They've gotten a lot more kills on these drones, but more uh, all in all, 10 drones killed for our Zerg, uh, for our Terran player. But looks like uh, this Banshee, though, going to encounter the Mutalists. Yes. Unless uh, Mickey can cloak. There you go. There goes the cloak. But there is an overseer nearby where the Mutalists decide to stay. No, Mickey now looking to go for the third base, but there is no third base up for our opponent. It looks like an attack on the front was initiated. However, there is a wall off. And now it looks like we have the Banshee looking to do some damage. Uh, only attacking the Extractor now, Mickey looking... Uh, uh, running his uh, Banshee away. To fight and live another day but pretty nice overlord placement here from both players and Mickey now grabbing a couple of missile turrets to defend against the mutilists and there they are in the front the Marines though not able to get into their safe bastion in the form of the bunker right away but oh it's like we have only three Marines four Marines but one mutilist does go down and Crimson now uh, microing that mutilist to no avail <laughs> He still dies anyway and wisely now grabbing or looking to uh, destroy the tech lab but there are a couple of marines out and we even have a medivac and very good defense there from Mickey however it would have liked it if he also attacked the front with the zerglings while uh, he was harassing the main that would have been a lot more effective as all the marines were really you know uh, were were engaged with dealing with the mutilists but like we have a lot of things now streaming in for crimson he looks like he's just now grabbing his third and grabbing a lot of uh grabbing two evo chambers and a infestation pit but looks like we have a couple of bailings now being morphed in looks like he's going to bust in the terran wall will there be enough uh infantry and defense here we go bailings Crashing onto the supply depot and looks like the Zerglings are now going to stream in the Marines so backing themselves up in the corner and wisely lifting up. Excellent move there from Mickey, but now the Zerglings are uh, wrecking the main. Here come the Veinlings. And they are <laughs> they got a lot of SCV kills right there, but this bunker though is in danger of being uh of burning down but Mickey saves it right there apologies it's been a while since I last casted so I am at a loss uh, I may have a hard time you know describing the action for you but anyways great defense there from uh, from Mickey 
lifting up the marines before they would be killed by those banelings but the banelings did get a lot of SCV kills oh no not that much he only got about 10 or 11 so the worker skill count has evened out let's look at the income tab uh, the zerg is still ahead though by 9 harvesters uh, the like sec harvester production has ceased for the zerg and the terran at this point and it looks like they're now getting a lot of uh, army units and the change thing of course being taken out very easily third base now uh, looking to be erected well it is already there but uh, Mickey looking to plop it down there you go and looks like we have Zergling Infester now from uh, Crimson he might be uh, he's now taking up to Hive and he may go for well he most possibly might go for Great Burst Fire or even just get Ultralisks However, at this point, with this army composition, I would definitely favor um, Broodlords. But they need uh, the appropriate support from Zerglings and Infestors. Looks like 4th base now going down for Mickey. And it looks like, um, sorry, for Crimson. And now Mickey looking to move out. This is actually his first attack. He's been defensive almost all game long now. Uh, Looking to be a little aggressive now with this uh, force. It looks very, very scary. We have a couple of Marauders to absorb any Baneling attacks. But looks like Mickey moving towards the fourth base of Crimson. Look at the food count though. Mickey is uh, quite a is quite a lead. Looks like he's saving a, a little squad of Marines looking to take out the hatchery. The siege stacks have been sieged up. Very nice. Uh, army spread here from Mickey and it looks like Crimson deciding to engage moving with the Zerglings and Banelings and if we could get huge fungal throws going out on the Infestors on the Infantry Zori and it looks like Crimson is going to be able to clean up this Terran force but uh, Mickey wisely wisely saving the Medivacs for another day but it looks like he has another army mobilized so awesome macro here from Mickey let's look at the production facilities 7 Seven barracks, all almost all of them with uh, reactor upgrades. Wise, he is almost now on three three, and he has plus one for his tanks. So macro wise, Terran doing very well, but the Zerg not too shabby. One one, he has two two on the way and adrenal glands. And there you go, looks like he's going for the ultras. But here come the Zerglings. Will they move in? No. That siege tank fire can really really scare any Zerg player and it looks like here comes some investors I'd like to see some burrow action but oh the, the investors got in range of the tank fire and looks like uh, Mickey looking to grab his uh, four, fifth base already wow like we have a planetary now being set up by Mickey 160 to 162 and we have a very very large Zerg force of Zerglings and investors the Ultralist on the way, Kindness fading also, 3-3 three, three has not been started, but here we go, it looks like we're going to see an engage, you know, the Zergs, the Zerg, decides to back out, and there is the 5th base of our uh, Terran player. And wow, oh wow, looks like the Zerg now, uh, finally being, uh, finally able to take his 4th. But in terms of expansion, the Terran is ahead, now dropping quite a lot of mules. And here comes the uh, Terran army, now moving on to the creep. I'd like to see a scan. Wow, Bailing gets taken out. Not the best spot for the Bailing. And okay, we have Ultralis now out for Crimson. 200 food for Azuric player. Will this be the deciding battle? We have very nice, a uh, very nice spread, but there it goes. Oh my god, a huge army now of Zergs and Alterlisk and Zerglings and Infestors moving in. The nice uh, spread of the Terran though doing its best to alleviate you know, the damage that could be done, spreading out the damage. But it looks like the Alterlisk are just too much. All the tanks being taken out and the Zerg player has pulled into the lead. Mickey needs to pull back these Medivacs or risk losing them and oh here we go. 
And Zerg now deciding to move out with four investors, but he has to be careful. He might overextend himself as there is a planetary fortress here at the fourth. And it looks like we have another Terran army. And oh no, 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 no. Very wise there from Crimson. Not overextending, looking to regroup with his army. And oh, it looks like the Zerg now. Looking to uh, counterattack, and oh my god, that's a lot of Zerglings, but what a money scan there from Mickey. Catching the Zerg where they are. Now he will be able to reposition his army to a better location to defend his base. But there's just a huge, huge open area here for the Zerg to just run in. And Zerg, they are at their best <coughs> when they are in open ground. However, there isn't any creep spread, so that... Uh, so that could be the only saving grace of our Terran player, but the Zerg now deciding to move back and go straight for the fourth. And here we go. Looks like they're actually going for the fifth base. And Mickey forced to uh, forced to lift up. Nothing to shoot the air. Here we go. Looks like we're going to our first dropship attack though. Oh no! Uh, the, the pathing there uh, causing some troubles and we have some borrowed bailings and oops crimson crimson just waiting wanting the army to move up but I don't think the army has any reason to move up move up, move up here to the top and it's like we have a drop now going down we see a lot of zerglings uh, are now streaming in bailings there to clean up that uh, drop but Marauders though, extremely, extremely tough and durable. Will the Zergis be able to take him out? Yes! But, uh... Just too much... Too many Zerglings were killed before that Marauder finally fell. And it looks like... Mikina moving in, looking to, uh... Looking to harass all the expansions, looking to take out all the expansions of our Zerg player. But oh no, Crimson! Coming in from behind! With a, uh, two... With a... Pincer like attack now squeezing and vice gripping the Terran army and the Terran army once again being taken out. Units lost tab though shows that Terran is still in a very good position. This uh, hatchery is going to fall, yes! And uh, Mickey, though he lost his entire army, he did take out a valuable expansion from the Zerg. The Zerg is not. Looking very good in terms of uh, money count, but he is producing 9 Ultralisks, getting 3 3 attacks, and the army of the Terran is fully upgraded. Oh, we're going to have a huge engagement here. Marines looking to move to the uh, move back to the safety and fire on the Sea Shanks, but the Sea Shanks have been surrounded by the Ultralisks. And the Terran player doing his best to kite the Ultralisks and looking to do a very good job of kiting and taking out the Ultralisks. One by one, but oh my god, so many Ultralists now from the Zerg player looking to uh, absolutely annihilate the fourth base. But looking, it looks like they're going to for the fifth base. And these SCVs, poor little guys, they are going to be taken out by the Ultralists. No escape for you, sir. No way out, but this means that the Ultralists are in a choke was this a bad decision from crimson no he is able to move out but he's just running away the ultra is not doing anything taking so much damage and mickey is steaming forward taking out an one ultra list and dealing a lot of damage but these ultra are just so rock hard five armor rock hard oh yes you like that rock hard don't you and more zerg things are coming in it looks like zerg missile attacks are be is being researched i'm not sure if this is a correct uh, if this was a misclick of some sort, as there are no ranged units, but oh, uh oh, uh oh, the armies are going to meet and clash in this choke. But Mickey decides to move back, but the Zerg pulling way, way back, grabbing so many expansions. Uh, let's look at the expansion count. Uh, mind out, mind almost mind out, almost mind out, and it looks like we have three expansion, extra expansions for the Zerg. Terran looking pretty good. He has mind out his main. His third is still okay. He has his fourth, but he needs to maintain his fifth. And oh, here comes a huge engagement. The tanks are not siege. And Mickey 
looking to lose all his sacks. He still has his infantry spreading them out real well, but watch out for the infestors. Huge fungal growth going down on the entire Terran army, and the Ultralists are going to clean up once more, and Mickey just can't seem... You know, they ca Mickey can't seem to uh, win a battle. Oh, he actually won this battle right here. But will this be enough? Can he push forward though? So Mickey now finally coming on top. Those 3-3 three, three, uh, infantry doing an excellent job of taking out that entire army of Zerglings, Ultralisk, and Infestors. The Infestors though did not have enough energy for any more fungal growth. And uh oh, it looks like Mickey now pushing forward. He has the army lead. And here we go, another huge engage. Huge fungal growth. Infested Terrans being far being thrown down and it looks like these veilings will help push the, the the Terran infantry back and the medevacs though are very low on health a good fungal growth should be able to take those medevacs out but here we go more zerglings coming in ultra is coming from the bottom from the south and from the east but it's like it looks like there are more Terran Marines, the Infestors just don't have any energy at all. Six more Infestors underway. A good fungal growth on these Medivacs will be a huge pickup for our Zerg player. But Mickey looking to push forward. Look at those infantry tanking those Ultralisks. But Mickey looking to pull back. Crimson should not overextend. And Mickey still has the lead. Income tab shows that the Zerg player is still looking pretty good. Though his fifth, fourth base is not that well saturated, his other bases are could you know do a lot better. But here we go once more, Mickey looking to push forward, looking. This is and this is the part of the game where uh, you know this is you need expansion. I don't know. I, I think they call this expansion management, where you have to deal with the expansions because that you know because that could be the killing blow, the the, the game winning uh, move. For any player and oh no fungal growth fungal growth going down on all the medivacs and mickey losing every single drop ship but there is another huge army though for mickey looking to push towards the fo the, the fourth and the third tank sieging up also this barreling down on the infantry but a tank fire from the from the back Dealing so much damage, and oh no, Crimson should. Uh, looks like he's wasting all this uh, Infestor energy with the Infested Marines. But more and more infantry now. This is going turning out to be a very epic game. Huge engage in the middle between Zerglings and Infantry, and here comes the Infestor's Fungal Growth! Going down on those Marines, and this is crazy. These two players going back and forth, going all out, leaving it out all on this map. And Tomb Valley has never seen a battle as epic. And nor have I. Both players going back and forth, trading blows. But the difference maker has been uh, Mickey not losing a single expansion. He's now getting his fifth. He should grab a sixth base. But there are Zerglings out everywhere on each expansion, preventing... The command center is from landing. This could be a good spot for Mickey to expand, but it's very, very near the Zerg uh, territory. And Mickey again looking to get. Oh my god, he now has Thors on the field to counter those Ultralists. Thors, tanks, and infantry. Let's see if this will win Mickey the game. And here come all the infestors, though. Spewing out a lot of infested Marines. But will this be enough? The Thors just eating them all up. Oh my god, look at the Thors go. <coughs> Excuse me. And no, oh my god, Mickey now has a huge lead. Despite losing a lot of units. Uh, Mickey has a huge food lead. And now here we go. Now here comes the counterattacks. Mickey should have done this quite earlier though. As the... Uh, Terran uh, army has been very, very busy with the expansions. But there are units waiting at the expansions of Mickey to defend. And oh my god, Mickey is splitting up his army perfectly here. And here we go, another engage. No. 
Crimson decides to fall back, but slowly but surely, Mickey is securing the lead, taking out all the expansions, and it looks like uh, Crimson going for a counterattack. We might have a base race or a base trade, however you like to call it. And okay, here we go. Zerglings are moving in. But Mickey do very, very wise lifting up the command centers. And this has been ma the main reason why Mickey has not lost any expansions. And he has now taken the fifth and fourth base of the Zerg. He's only, he's, uh, he's, he has twice uh, the amount of food. And this looks like it could be it. Mickey is now securing the victory here. After a lot of back and forth action, armies being traded here and there, and Crimson GG's. What an epic game between these two players. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This has been your friendly neighbor, Dr. Jimmy, out of breath and signing off.